Yeah, so my name is Marina Vazovska. I'm a professor of number theory here at the PFL, and I study math mathematics and number theory in particular. I uh, was born and grew up in Kiev, and I think I had a very happy childhood. I have two sisters. They grew up uh, together. Uh, I went to school to school in Kiev. So I think I realized that I like mathematics from the first grade. So in the first grade we learned how to uh, read, how to write and how to count. I realized that counting was my favorite. And uh, uh, since then I stood on this track and I'm moving <laughs> in this track. So maybe it's not a very interesting story. <laughs> and uh, when I, like when I was in a mid school, uh, I changed from a regular school to a school that specializes in physics and mathematics. And uh, I like those subjects a lot. So, yeah, and when I finished high school, I decided that I will continue studying mathematics. So, as I know, I'm the only mathematician in my family. Uh, however, uh, my parents and my grandparents, they are chemists. Uh, so the love to natural science already was in my family. But then, uh, unfortunately, when I started studying chemistry at school, I realized that I don't like chemistry. So, yeah, it happens. Yeah, so I think I was extremely lucky with uh, teachers actually starting from the first grade. Maybe it just happened that I got exactly the teachers that uh, I needed. And I think that uh, when it comes to learning, then really the, the personality of teacher is extremely uh, important. And I remember my first grade teacher, she was a very strict woman. And then my first math teacher, she was a super strict woman. But somehow they disagreed with me and this is what was I liked. Because I think deep inside they were actually very kind people who really cared a lot about their students. And I also met a lot of uh, very special teachers in the uh, Lyceum where I studied for physics and mathematics. And these were people who were really excited about their subject and very excited about teaching. And I think this, is, this was a very important period in my life when I really realized that uh, Mathematics is very beautiful and it, it, you know, to, to learn it, it, it takes a lot of time and a lot of work, but it is worth the effort. Uh, yeah, so I started studying in Ukraine and then I moved to Germany. And uh, yes, yeah, so I think for, for, for a student, for young scientists, the possibility to travel is important because uh, uh, no, there are very few places, there, maybe they, they exist, there are places in the world where you can study anything or almost any kind of mathematics, but they are few. <laughs> maybe, uh, and you, usually it's, import, it's important to go to another place just to get another experience, being exposed to other kinds of uh, research. Uh, and, uh, and also the academic culture in different countries, it might be a bit different. So. In, in this sense, I think that travel does give a lot to young people. It helps to grow and uh, but maybe one of the exciting part of traveling is that it's possibility to meet, to meet people. So after Germany, I came here to Switzerland, to EPFL, and uh, yeah, so maybe he, here already came in a slightly, in, as, as a professor in a different uh, uh, quality, but I am very happy that I, I have opportunity to work at this beautiful campus. And uh, yeah, so it's, uh, also, also it, it happens that I think right, right now EPFL is growing so fast and uh, it is also an exciting opportunity to be a part of this, maybe to be involved in some decisions that will influence the, the future of, the, of uh, this place. And I hope that, yeah, so it will, as it's getting more and more exciting, so yeah. 
I'm looking forward to see what, what's waiting for us. So I teach here in the PFL and uh, uh, so maybe it's for, for students to say whether I'm a good teacher or not, but I, I, I try to. And uh, yeah, also somehow what, what, what I noticed that maybe with age when I was, actually I, I started to do teaching a different level when I was a student myself, but I think when I was, a, for example, when I was a student in Kiev University, I was organized, organized math circles in my own school, but I think that time I was actually much more interested in solving math problems myself. Uh, and I think as when I get older, I realize that it's really important to have interest also in your uh, students and I, no, I, I don't think that I'm strict. I just, I think I am a bit, so sometimes I'm um, uh, really a bit excited about some topic and I, uh, okay, I might do things maybe a bit too complicated for students, uh, but uh, yeah, so I also think that it's, uh, it's, uh, it's like at some at some level, so this uh, distinction between teachers and students, it of course exists in our society, but for mathematics, everybody is equal. So maybe the, the best experience which exists is when it's possible to forget that we are students and teachers and we can just discuss mathematics. And uh, yeah, whenever that works, it usually makes me very, very happy when, when I actually can also learn something from my students. That's the most exciting moment. I hope that at least I'm doing something right here, so. Yeah, so I work in number theory and maybe the corner of number theory, which is closest to geometry and geometric optimization. So I, I try to answer the questions, what are the best possible geometric configurations of certain kind and what actually usually the problems that interests me that when the solution to this problem also involves some uh, interesting number theoretic structure. Good examples of this is a packing problem when in low dimensions packing problems, the solutions to packing problem, they can be constructed from interesting algebraic or number theoretic constructions. And then we can also think about what is the reason for this and in, in general, uh, also, also I work in the theory of automorphic forms uh, that are, they are uh, functions with nice analytic properties and also a lot of symmetries. And so this becomes a very rich topic where different areas of mathematics come together, algebra, analysis, geometry, even topology for, so, so for, from time to time. And uh, I think also in spirit time, uh, problem solver, so I do like solving particular problems and to start building uh, theories not from the sake of the theory itself, but from a desire to solve a particular puzzle. So from time to time, uh, it, 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 I, it, we are mathematicians are lucky and then we can actually give a complete answer to the pro problem that interested us. So uh, this happened for me a few times and maybe one most of the problem I'm most known for is the sphere packing problem in dimensions 8 and 24. So my son is now 14 years old and uh, I'm not sure that he loves mathematics. I think he's more interested in programming. But uh, yeah, we discuss mathematics with him a lot because you know, he's at the age when, it's, when he really studies, uh, starts learning interesting things. And uh, yeah, so I hope that he will love mathematics at some point. Uh, but my daughter, she's too young, so, but okay, we already learned to count. Un, du, quatre, cinq. <laughs> so. Yes, probably my message to young girls would be the same as message to young boys. And my deep belief is that mathematics does not see the gender. So just for, for mathematics, we're all just mathematicians, uh, curious and intelligent beings trying to uncover its deep secrets. And uh, here, gender or nationality or race should not play uh, the role and uh, maybe one message for young 
people is not just not to be afraid of mathematics. After all, mathematics it's uh, rooted in uh, common sense. And so if you have ability to think straight, then you have ability to do mathematics. Um, and then, yes, and if you feel also, if you think that mathematics is beautiful, if you feel love for it, then just uh, do it, learn it. And uh, I'm sure that this will give, bring some good result. Even if you don't become mathematician, I think it would be useful and exciting and interesting in any case. sometimes, but uh, yeah, and when that happens, I realize that maybe I need uh, a bit of rest. <laughs>